Welcome everyone to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Welcome for another episode of Jim and Java. I'm always excited to be here with you all answering your fundraising questions. And I know so many of you have been gracious enough to submit questions to me, and I'm so thankful for that. And it's great to hear the kinds of things that you're dealing with, uh, everything from hiring development directors to dealing with uh, fulfillment rates and struggling with uh, board issues. So many of you are actively involved in this community and trying to do the best job you can. And that's why I'm here is to try and help you out as much as I can to answer your questions. If you are interested in finding out a little bit more about us in addition to this YouTube channel, you can head out to Instagram at Dev Effectiveness Strategies and watch our three lessons on Mondays, our fundraising and film, that fun episode, and also Thursday morning, the coffee time with Jim Dempsey on Thursday morning. So I really enjoy each and every one of you. I enjoy your comments and your questions. So let's get to our question for the day today. Our question today is from Cliff in Dallas, Texas. And Cliff asks, how do you work with a fundraising consultant? Well, Cliff, thanks for that question. And that's a great question. I've actually had the privilege of working on both sides of the table. I was a consultant for a, a nonprofit organization helping other nonprofit organizations in the early 1990s, and I enjoyed my time doing that. But over the years, I've also had the privilege of hiring a number of consultants. In fact, we're using one right now uh, out of Ohio, a consulting firm that we just really enjoy a great deal and are doing some amazing things in our direct mail, direct marketing, email marketing, and also in our mid-level as well too. And they do dabble a bit in our major donor area. So overall, they give us great advice. But what I would say is, as you are looking for a fundraising consultant, I would begin by starting to put down what are your needs. List what are those key elements. Typically, the key elements in, in fundraising development is mass, middle, and major. Those seem to be the biggest areas, but there's also campaign areas as well too, which tends to fall into the major donor category. But find out, is there a particular area? Because there are consultants who focus just in those three areas. And typically, they'll focus in on one of those three areas. In the major area or campaign area, you'll find someone that comes out of higher education a lot of times because that's where a lot of the capital campaigns, the multi-billion dollar capital campaigns, are done these days in higher education. So someone who has had success in that, becomes a consultant, could come alongside and help your organization. From the mass area, I can remember as far back as the late 1980s using fundraising consultants in direct mail. Uh, we I used the Vigri Corporation for a long time, which was a big name consulting firm in direct mail in the Washington DC area used them for a time. Um, we, uh, we used a number of big name direct mail consultants over the years and we've seen a lot of success in that. An area that isn't focused in on as much and hasn't been until recently is in that middle area. Uh, I mentioned that the current consultants we're using are focusing in in that middle level area and they have brought some great things to the table uh, for us. And that was, for us, that was a benefit of bringing on this firm because they showed great experience working in that mid-level area. And if you aren't working in a mid-level area, I've got uh, some videos on Jim and Java about mid-level and the importance of mid-level donors. But those seem to be the fastest growing segment of your donor base nowadays. You'd be surprised. When I refer to middle donor, that's one to 5,000. But find out where your areas of needs are and what are you hoping to accomplish and what kinds of financial 
goals that you want to accomplish, but also don't just focus in on financial goals. Focus in on the relationship building goals you want as well too. Now, I realize that you may also be dealing with qualitative. Certainly, you want to look at quantitative goals. How can we uh, quantify our goals and make those measurable? Extremely important. But you may also want to look at some qualitative goals. How do we want to improve the way we treat people, the feedback, the relationships that we build. Those things are difficult to measure, but they are so important. And you want to look at ways uh, to how to improve those relationships and, and those elements as well too. So when you put all those things together, put out a search and you can find on the internet, I always network with other organizations. I appreciate so much. Uh, I've got a colleague that I worked with for 20, I worked 22 years ago with her and she still calls me and says, Jim, I'm on a search for a consultant for this or that. Have you ever used someone in this area? Who would you recommend? And I appreciate that a lot. And I do the same kinds of things. Honestly, that's how we got the firm that we are currently using for our organization. Word of mouth, referral. We had uh, another arm of our organization using this firm with tremendous success. And frankly, I just really liked the, the, uh, the principles of the organization. Uh, and honestly, that is another thing that's important. Yes, you want to see great results. You want to build relationships. But you've got to look and say, can I work with these people? You know, we are currently heading into our ninth year working with this consulting firm. And I can't say there isn't a day that I probably haven't reached out to one of their representatives. And frankly, I enjoy every conversation I have with their people. They, from the principals, founders, and partners, I enjoy every conversation with them to our managers down to the people handling the day-to-day -day operation and process the turnkey process they hire some of the best people and i enjoy those people they're get it done people they uh, actually uh, respond and fulfill all their commitments and their promises that they make they keep us on deadlines they know we're busy but you know what they care about our organization and that is another important quality. Are these people just doing, uh, working with you, doing business with you, just simply because they need the paycheck? Or do they genuinely care about your organization? I can say that the consulting firm that we work with genuinely enjoys working with us. They enjoy our mission and our vision and our values. We agree, we see eyeball to eyeball on our mission, vision, and values. And we are, we're all on the same page with the things that we're doing. And as a result, I believe that's why we get such good results because they know us and they understand us. And that's another element that's so important. We've changed executive directors uh, two times and really changed voices three times within the time, just in the eight and a half years we've worked with this consulting firm. And they understand, they get our voice, and that's so important. So Cliff, I hope that helped you in what to look for and how to hire a consulting firm. Prices vary, so be careful. Anything from hundreds of thousands of dollars to tens of thousands of dollars. And be careful on the pricing, compare pricing with organizations and consulting firms. And so I hope that helped you greatly. For those of you who also need further advice, we've always got this channel here to answer your questions. Reach out to us on this channel at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. You can reach us on Instagram at Dev Effectiveness Strategies. And of course, we'd love to have you as part of this community, making a difference in our world and for eternity. And please subscribe to this channel. And as always, I wish you the best as you increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next week. See you in the next video.